What's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in to Ben Travels TV. And coming up next, we head to Ybor City in Tampa, Florida, as we head to Colombia Restaurant, Florida's iconic and oldest restaurant in the country, to find out if they make the best Cubano in the world. You gotta stay tuned. <laughs> You guys welcome back to my channel hit the like button hit the subscribe button and hit that bell so you get notified every time i drop a new video okay so we are on florida central gulf coast west central florida be exact in ebor city which is located in tampa florida we are headed to one of the oldest and iconic restaurants in florida and in the country which opened in 1905 and that is the columbia restaurant which they say they are the originators of the Cubano, AKA the Cuban sandwich. And other cities have tried to stake claim as the originators of the Cubano, mainly Miami. All right, that's their rival when it comes to the sandwich. And what Columbia states is, show us your 100 year old restaurant and they love to have a chat. I love that. All right, you guys, so they have many different dishes. This is a Spanish Cuban cuisine restaurant, which is infused of other cultures as well mixed into the menu okay so this is their 1905 salad which has tomatoes baked ham swiss cheese spanish olives romano cheese and many other ingredients as well so this comes with every meal now what i love about this restaurant is the uniqueness okay 15 different dining rooms that seats over 1700 people you have empanadas you all they also serve the paella valenciana which is a spanish national dish sangria mojitos you have tons of dining options but unfortunately this is from their social media page this video you're seeing here and outside there you can check my ebor city uh, video out we drove by there at night absolutely beautiful and iconic it's been around since 1905 all right you guys so i had to order out we're headed to miami as soon as i finish this sandwich so as you all know the tampa version which they say is the originator has salami which represents italy right because you have so many different ethnicities racial backgrounds and cultures that came to cuba i mean i'm sorry to florida at that time from cuba and from around the world all right you guys so excuse the mess in the car we we're just getting ready to leave central florida and we we're heading to miami so i had to run over to columbia and pick a order to go pick up an order to go so i went to the back kitchen and picked up my order got my plantain chips always right love those plantain chips to go with my cubano my cuban my cuban sandwich all right you guys i'm gonna give you a review versus la segunda central we're gonna find out on this episode who has the best cubano in tampa all right and then we'll try more once we get down to miami and try and kill that argument in my opinion all right you guys let's dig in here's the cuban i'm right pull it out guys okay this is the cuban here we need some light on it okay all right okay i'm gonna come to your side that, yeah hey this is the cuban check that out oh yeah look at that look at that let me flip it you guys can see it 
pickles, pork, ham, salami, mustard. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Woo! All right. I'm going to actually give my light wife the skinny one. She's not hungry. <laughs> and we're going to take a bite of this, guys. All right. There you go. All right. Mmm. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Mm -hmm. I'll give you guys my, my vote on La Segunda or Colombia. All right, so if it's not pressed, it's not Cuban. That sandwich has to be pressed in order to be a Cubano. All right, so let's get to the review. The Ybor City, Tampa, Florida battle. Who has the best Cubano in Tampa? We'll start there. So La Segunda Central, I'll put the uh, link in the description and up above on the video versus Colombia Restaurant 1905 here in Ybor City, Tampa, Florida. And the winner is Columbia Restaurant. All right. And the reason why is you saw how nicely pressed it was. Uh, it had a nice crunch to it when you when you heard me take a bite. And I felt the assortment of meats was just right. The mustard and the pickles did not overpower it. The pork was really juicy as well. All the other meats. I know people don't like the salami. I know my Miamians are not going to like the uh <laughs> salami on it but that's the tampa style they say they're originators that's the way it's done but what i'll say is la segunda central was really good as well but i felt they put too much meat so once you start biting more into the sandwich it does get a little dry all right so that is the difference maker there all right so i would say the columbia beats it just by a little bit by a hair and that is my review but anyways you guys I'll see you on the next one. We are headed to Miami, Florida and the Florida Keys. Thank you so much for watching all the videos of us and our adventures, me and my family and our adventures throughout Central Florida from Orlando down to Tampa, Clearwater, St. Pete, Sarasota, Siesta Key. We had a blast. So thank you so much for the support on the channel. I'll see you guys in Miami and South Beach all the way to the Keys where we're only 90 miles away from Cuba. I'm out. Thank you.